Our forecast from the Weather Authority. This is Local 12 News. And it rattles you. I mean, not only is this a place, uh, the Avondale Club, where kids come, but our staff do as well, and volunteers and parents. The CEO of the Boys and Girls Club is making changes after a rolling gun battle happened right next door. Good evening, I'm Kyle Linsky. And I'm Paula Toti. Cincinnati police says shot spotter picked up the sound of 24 bullets wow. in the afternoon this week in Avondale. That happened just steps away from the Boys and Girls Club. The organization's club in Price Hill is in a neighborhood that's had many shootings recently. Local child's Megan Mangello is live tonight with more on what's being done to curb the violence there. Megan, good evening. Well, good evening, Kyle. We are live this afternoon in Price Hill, and I can tell you this is one of the neighborhoods where Cincinnati police are stepping up patrols because of the recent spike in violence. And now there's something happening inside the walls of these clubs to help the kids who live in these neighborhoods cope. Crime scene tape blocked off Rockdale in Washington Wednesday afternoon after a double shooting at 1230 in the afternoon. At that corner in Avondale sits the U.S. Bank Boys and Girls Club. Kids were inside and thankfully safe. Parents were called to pick them up early. Today, the kids and staff were back and having fun. A hula hoop contest brought cheers and dancing. Things look normal, but CEO Bill Bresser knows the impact can run deep. This is everywhere, and it's really unfortunate. And again, the staff see it. The kids see it, the families see it. Uh, it affects them in ways that, that we're not always even privy to. That's why the Boys and Girls Club has started mental health programs. It's partnering with organizations who are bringing in experts. Uh, and making sure that we're not just creating physical spaces, but emotionally safe spaces as well. So that when things like this happen, and even you know on the prevention side, our kids feel comfortable coming to our staff, having those conversations, uh, voicing their concerns. Counseling services are offered, plus staff is getting trained in how to deal with and recognize signs of trauma. Tell us about your book. Parent volunteer Ashley Harper has three young boys. She's concerned about what's happening on the streets. And it's just like we're the parents, and it starts at home with us, you know, and then you have the village, which is here. Each day in Cincinnati, the Boys and Girls Club reaches 500 kids who range in age from 5 to 18. Only 30% are teenagers like Jasmine. She credits her mom and club staff for being mentors. Because I know I'm safe here and I know people are going to have my back. And it's just a place for me to come. The club offers a positive space for parents and kids who are trying to avoid temptations that can happen on the streets. Enrollment to get into these clubs is always open and in the summer it is $30 a week. But if the kids come after school twice a week during the school year, the summertime program is free. And I can tell you that they not only do really exciting things and also learning things inside these clubs, they take them out for field trips too. Like today, the kids here in Price Hill went and visited the Newport Aquarium. Reporting live along Glenway Avenue, Megan Mangello, Local 12 News. Megan, thank you so much. According to Cincinnati police data, three of the people murdered in the past few weeks were juveniles.